Hey, all men are created equal. Uh, we quite literally do not mean all men. And you can find a much better answer in the documents we use at the founding of Virginia's independent government. Um, we originally have all men written and we eventually change it to men once they've entered a state of society. Literally meaning that if you're an enslaved African, you're considered not to be a member of society. And even when we say all men, we don't even mean all white men, we don't mean all free men, we don't mean a lot of people. We mean free white men in most colonies, land holding, in most colonies there's a religious requirement as well. Um, the documents are made specifically vague so we can use them and interpret them how we want to. It's the only reason they're still used today. It's one of the things that makes America different. It's one of the things that makes America special in quite a few other countries around the world. They've changed that. They've changed their documents. We're on, oh geez, the fifth republic in France, I think, at this point. We might even be on the sixth. I honestly don't remember. They change frequently. Ours is so vague and can be used however we want it to be used. So our documents are, we've all heard living, breathing. They're supposed to change with the will of the people. All men are written. I don't know if their intention is so that the document can live and breathe and change in the future, but it's vague enough it can be interpreted however they want it to be. Oh wow, awesome, thank you.